Hey there, I'm Brie and I'm an energy healer and today I'm creating a full moon energy cleanse. I'm filming this on um, the full moon. It's happening for us here in the afternoon so I wanted to kind of capture that moment and capture a little ritual space for you to use. As an energy cleanse, as a reset, we can think about the full moon as kind of this this rhythm and sort of like breathing. So the full moon is that at the pinnacle of that in breath and then we're getting ready to release and let things go that didn't work for us in the last cycle. So trying to come to this with something that you're ready to release and almost everything I'm going to be using today will just be for that purpose. So I got a singing bowl and some things like that. So we'll just use those for cleansing and releasing that kind of out breath release um, during this time. Okay. So I'm going to start with using this um, Lunar Ritual Spray. I like it. It's um, got some cedarwood and sage and hopefully bringing you into this kind of lunar ritual space. I'm going to use it to cleanse us out and attune us to the house kind of vibration. And of course it makes a nice little sound. Getting, going to spray your whole body, making sure we're pulling it through everything, cleansing. Removing anything that feels like it's going to keep you distracted from this space or is not going to be part of this work. I'm just putting it aside for now, not taking it away forever. Just more of helping you be present, for your energy to be present during this work. And as you move through this ritual space, starting to connect maybe with things that you're hoping to release, or maybe just simply contemplating the last cycle, what things were working, what things weren't, what felt like a drain versus what felt like joy and bringing in uplift, you know, what was lifting you up versus what was dragging you down. Starting to be more mindful of those connections.
little bit more. I have this singing bowl here. Um, I purchased this one because it resonates with that ancient self. Um, feels like it brings to up from the depths of us um, our kind of more subconscious self, our deeper emotional energetic body. So bringing this in to hopefully awaken that part of ourselves so that we can helpfully use it in the cleansing process. Okay. And if you can, just bringing your energy to the forefront, allowing yourself to resonate with the tone. Okay, perfect. 
So now that we've sort of brought those things up and our energy is open and available, I'm going to start working with um, a selenite wand. And I find that selenite is um, very cleansing, but also very lunar attuned, um, very much in line with the um, energy of the moon. Selene, selenite. It's very kind of, almost looks like an illuminated moon in itself. And it's self-cleansing. Um, so just now that we are open and available, starting to let that out press, release the things that are not working, letting them come free from our energy body. free from our mental space, free from our heart space, and free from our physical body. Stress can cause so much tension in the physical body, we don't realize how much we hold our emotions and our bodies, how much that is translated in the way we move and sit and are. So, releasing from all those different layers of you, okay? And right now it's afternoon here, so we have that benefit of things being illuminated by both the sun and the moon. Um, sometimes I think people think because it's daytime you can't work with the moon, but the moon is out during the day. It still is adding its light, it's still helping to illuminate our subconscious, our emotional shifting self. And this is a really good um, moon to kind of release things that are not working for us. Um, it's a Capricorn full moon and a Cancer sun, which are kind of like the parental units of the zodiac. Cancer being very motherly, thinking about the things that nourish and nurture us. And the moon is a Capricorn moon, which is very much the father figure, kind of thinking more about systems and things that are limiting or holding us back, what things aren't working in kind of a more mental, earthly capacity. Capricorn is an earth sign, so it's a lot more practical, a lot more down to earth. So we have this lovely moment where we're taking what we would call a spiritual kind of body, the moon, and thinking about it a little bit more practically. It's, it's in a house of seeing our emotions, seeing our energy and our shifting selves in a more down to earth way. And then the moon, which is, an, I mean, and then the sun, which is normally very fiery, is in Cancer, which is a water sign. So we're seeing a lot of these dualistic aspects to our lives and can hopefully see them with a little bit of clarity, a 
little bit more stepping back and taking perspective. So if you can, be a little bit more focused on your energy and what you can do with it and what you have power to release. Perhaps they're habits or routines that seem to hold you back. Perhaps some relationships are not helping you, they aren't empowering you. That doesn't mean you have to get rid of them entirely. But having that perspective to limit their availability to our own energy. So that is um, a selenite wand, which I use all the time. It is so great for cleansing. Um, with clients, I use it. Personally, I use it. So a very good investment if you're looking for something to um, work on your own. Resetting your energy with a selenite wand and just kind of scraping it off on yourself can be a really nice ritual. So I have this feather that I wanted to bring in here, and as I was just talking about the different um, signs, like the sun, and the moon, and the um, Cancer, Capricorn, those are all very well represented in fire, and water, and earth, but we are missing the air element, so I wanted to make sure that we aren't leaving anything out as we're cleansing and releasing. So I wanted to bring this in to sort of just a little breath of fresh air and clarity, making sure that we're getting everything as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to just be bringing that in to lighten things up, fluff things through, add a little clarity to it. Making sure we're not missing anything. And not like a gust of wind, but just a little feathery bringing them up. And then brushing them. And in this session, it's less about me pulling and taking things away and more of making you um, a part of this process because this is much more about that intentional work that you are pursuing. You know, in some of my videos, you can put them on and leave them playing and just let things happen and we can work through anything that you want. But in this case, I really want you to be present in the process of releasing. This is your out-breath. This is your release. What, what is it that you want to release? And it can be very specific. Or it can be just a vague idea of an emotion. But the most important thing is that you, clear-headed and... Um, with all the power of the moon and my assistance, let those things go. So, 
is my hope that this little session can be a ritual you can come back to whenever you feel like you have some intentional work to do. And if it helps when you're doing this intentional releasing work is to do those out-breaths, those and letting things down and away from your body. You can picture your breath actually carrying that energy out if you want. I got a little windy outside, you can hear my wind chime. Okay. Very good, just a few more. And then lastly, right before I go, I have this um, black moonstone, and this is just for one to connect us to that lunar energy and make sure we're aligned with it, but it also speaks just a little bit to the future. Um, it's kind of got these little lines, like a little map. And so while right now we're releasing and letting go and thinking about that as we move through this next cycle, letting go before we start asking for the next step, but I always want us to be aware that there is a next step. There always is on the horizon a little dot of hope of the next thing, of the next excitement for the next try, the next go round, and that we're always kind of pulling ourselves towards that, navigating that map of what we want, what we don't want, how our desires mingle with our responsibilities, and trying to direct and find our way as much as possible. So just a little bit of connecting to the moon and its lunar energies, but also recognizing that this is a process of a full cycle, kind of thing. Kind of think of it up and a down and then an up again, starting to come into that next cycle and reminding ourselves that we're part of that bigger picture. As much as things feel out of control and away from ourselves, that we get a small sliver of slice of control. We can choose to bring ourselves and our awareness, our intention towards things that good for us and others too. Not just that we're in a bubble, but it's good for us and the people around us. And things can be very overwhelming. Life moves very fast. And we can't honor every lunar cycle, so I really wanted to capture this so that you can use it when it's convenient for you. I know as a mom and, you know, a working person that it is hard to hit every full moon and I very rarely get them all. So hopefully this is a space you can use when it's convenient. To remind you that at some point you're at some stage in that cycle and you can find and bring awareness and intention to that space. Okay. 
And really that's what a lot of this work is about, is finding our awareness and intention and reflecting on how those things work for us. a lot more in tune and better and I really hope that this was um, helpful for you in letting go of some things and releasing just going through your energy body and letting go of what's not serving you um, thank you so much for joining me thank you to my patrons and supporters if you'd like to support my channel, here are all the ways. Leave a tip or a super thanks, book a private session, or join my Patreon. All are so appreciated, and I will see you in the next one.